Bofa takes place in South Africa in 1980, just as the revolutionary changes that have affected that country were beginning to get underway. And it stars Danny Glover as a black South African policeman who takes great pride in his job, his uniform, and his duties. As the movie opens, he's lecturing recruits at the police academy. Pig, you're hit in the town every day. And when you do, just remember this. You are the pride of South Africa, and no one can take that away. You will have the intelligence of a hundred men. You'll have to have guts, guts to hold your ground. Glover looks forward to the day when his son will be able to join him on the force, but he doesn't realize the son has been caught up in the tide of change that is sweeping over Africa and has completely different ideas about his future. As sadistic white officers from the police special branch come into the area and begin to use torture as a technique, Glover finds that he's going to be forced to arrest his own son. Return to your classroom! We will return to our class! When we are taught in English! Yes! Return to your classes immediately or we will be forced to take action. No more Africans! No more Africans! No more Africans! No more Africans! No Africa. Bofa is the first film directed by the distinguished American actor Morgan Freeman and he, working with Glover and Witter, does a really good job of creating the tensions in this story between a man who is proud to be able to take care of his family and proud of his job and a society which says that this man is not on the right side at the right time. The movie helps provide a backdrop for what has happened in South Africa in the last 13 years and as drama, it's really good. I give it three stars and I'm Roger Ebert.